So we're on day three of working out. Decided to do the bike again this morning because frankly, I'm too tired to concentrate on anything else. Um, sorry for the movement of my video here, but uh, yeah. I have it set on the highest tension, which is why I'm going so slow because I honestly can't go much faster. <laughs> my poor legs are just burning right now. I'm only like a minute in. So um, yeah, uh, I was so tired last night because uh, I, I just think my hormones are jacking me up this week. So, um, but I laid down and every time I shut my eyes, I couldn't get comfortable. I couldn't keep my eyes shut. I was not having a good time with sleep. Um, I do have insomnia, so that does factor in, but I'm pretty sure that had to do with the hormones. So anyhow, I'm already panting a little bit, <sighs> but so I didn't get any workout done last night. Um, but this morning I was like, okay, even if I just do five minutes, five minutes is five minutes. So I've just been consistently the last three days doing five minutes, I hurry up, run downstairs, go through a load in the laundry, get the dogs taken care of, and that gives me five minutes before shower time to get a little bit of a workout in. And that way too, if I sweat, I can wash it all off in the shower. So anyhow, uh, it's way in Wednesday too, so I'll let you know how that goes as well. Bye. So I'm back. <laughs> I took a shower right after my workout. I just felt gross. Um, so I did my weigh-in and the results are I am up two pounds. Um, I am 193 now. And am I the least bit surprised about that? No. I know what I did. Um, Sunday I overindulged a little bit and yesterday, even though I had that healthy food, um, the dressing and some of the stuff I had for lunch uh, was very high in sodium and I know that sodium is a big thing for me I'm supposed to be on a low salt diet but here's the thing I love 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 salt I have loved salt so much I've actually licked it straight out of my hand like pure salt in my hand which is ridiculous I know but um, I do relatively well several times a week with sodium but every so often it's just like I have to give in to that craving and yesterday was one of those days. Um, also, I'm due to get my period in a couple days. I know that every month, right before my period, there's going to be a gain. But once I start my period, there's gonna be a nice drop. And that's where I'll see the real results. Um, not that I don't really consider these real results, but um, I know what my body does. It's done it since the beginning of time, since the beginning of my very first period. Uh, the week before my period, I get, I retain a ton of water. I crave sugar and salt like I'm pregnant or something. I'm not pregnant, by the way. Um, <laughs> but I just, I get really, really bad salt and sugar cravings and I've mostly resisted them this week but you know it ain't perfect so even though it was a gain I'm not feeling the least bit upset about it because I know that in a couple days when I finally do start my period it's not gonna look that way it's there's probably gonna be a drop if not back down to the 191 uh, might even be below that um, so like I said not super worried we'll see where it goes plus I'm on vacation after today for the next four days and I tend to actually eat better and not when I'm on vacation like away from home but when I'm doing a staycation I actually eat a thousand times better and part of it's due to the fact that I'm really, I have the time and the energy to be more mindful about what I'm eating, but also because I'm usually a lot more active, 
Um, my job is a sit down job, so I don't get a lot of movement throughout the day. But on my days off, you know, I, you know, I clean house like crazy. I organize. I get bored and decide to go take a random walk in the middle of the afternoon. Um, so I definitely get a lot more movement on top of keeping on track of what I'm eating. So um, I have a feeling in a couple days the scale's gonna look a lot better. So I'll probably do a second weigh-in this week. I usually do a daily check-in just to kind of see where I'm at and if I start seeing the scale going in the wrong direction, I know mm, I, better, I better pay attention to what I'm eating a little bit more. Because for me, it takes no time at all for me to get off track. So, um, but also, I like to kind of experiment a little bit and see, okay, uh, when is this gonna show up on my scale? I'm finding that there's like a two day lag. If I have a bad eating day, two days later it shows up on the scale. So it's interesting to just kind of see. I don't do the daily weigh in because I'm like trying to, you know, be really obsessive about it because I don't necessarily do it every single day. But I like to just see uh, how what I ate that day correlates on the scale and what kind of lag am I looking at. So if there's a day I know for a fact I ate like crap, I'll just keep weighing myself and go, okay, this is gonna show up on the scale. I know it's going to. I know what my calories were that day. It's not gonna be good. And the next day I'll be like, hmm, you know, didn't really show up, so maybe it wasn't that bad. But then the second day it's like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it, uh, that's an interesting experiment for me. Um, I've heard some people, their bad eating times don't show up until like a week later, so. I should just be happy with the metabolism that God gave me. So anyhow, that's where I am. Um, and I'm gonna check in each day and, and let you know how it goes.